everyone, I'm Kat. I'm the coach and the co-owner of Session in Brooklyn. This is Good Stretch with Well and Good. I'm gonna take you through an end of day mobility sequence. All of these movements are really great to help to stay active and mobile and release any tension that you might be holding onto from the day. If you've been doing lots of repetitive movements or sitting or standing in certain positions, this is great for you. All right, so let's get started. All you need is just a little bit of space and maybe a mat if that's more comfortable for you. We'll start standing. Just take some big shoulder shrugs back, really articulating here. Think up, back, down, and forward. Going that full range of motion with your shoulders. Let them be big and with control. Good, we'll take that forward now. Again, articulate it, go back, up, forward, and then down. It's okay if it feels like it looks a little silly. It should just feel good and like a nice release here. We're here for three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. We'll take you to a standing stretch for your lats. So big reach up with the arms. Left hand is gonna wrap onto your right wrist. We'll reach up first, so reach up nice and tall. And then bending over to the side, let your fingertips reach to the wall or the side near you. You'll feel that stretch in the lats. Then on in your inhale, reset. Exhale, we'll shift. Let your armpits kind of face the floor just to deepen that stretch. Bring it back to center and then all the way up. Good, shake it out and we'll go ahead and switch. Again, grabbing onto the wrist with the opposite hand, reach up first, find length in the lat and then pull it over to the side. You can let the hips move to the side as well. Inhale, reset, exhale, go ahead and shift. Let your eyes look down. Awesome, bring it all the way back up and then shake it out. We're gonna take it to a movement for your thoracic spine. We're gonna take some circles. So open with uh, arms, so opening with the chest and then give yourself a nice big hug. From here, feet are shoulder width apart, let the knees have some bend into it. And then with your top of your head, we're gonna draw a circle all the way up and around. Let yourself fold all the way forward and then let the hips go to the other side. Bring it all the way back up to stand. We'll go ahead and take that the same direction. We'll take it two more times this way. You should feel a nice release in your back. Feel your spine move through all parts of that rotation. Let's go ahead and switch. Open the arms, switch the arm that's on top in that hug, and then we'll take it the other way. Again, your head is drawing that nice big circle from top to bottom. You can really bend into the knees at the bottom in that fold. Take that one more time. Awesome. We're gonna make our way down. So if you have a mat or if you have a pillow or something, you can pop underneath your knee for a little bit of knee support. We'll take it to a half kneeling position. So one knee planted, one foot planted. You can let the back toe untuck. And we'll take it to a runner's lunge to a hamstring stretch. So we're gonna lunge forward, opening in your hip and keep the heel planted and let the toe, the knee just track past your toe. And then we'll push the hips back into a hamstring stretch, toes face up to the ceiling. You'll find length in the backs of the legs now. Now we'll turn that into a flow. So forward, chest is proud, and then back, trying not to let your back round too far forward. Okay, let's take that two more times here. Using your exhale to sink deeper into every part. Awesome, we're gonna take it to some thoracic spine rotations now. So plant the opposite hand to foot, and you're gonna take that hand now, the free hand, weave it underneath the planted hand, and then open up and twist. Think fingertips to the ceiling. And we'll keep flowing through that, right? Because we're keeping it active, we're not holding one position for too long. That way we still have the blood flow in here. And use your breath, exhale to twist. Let's take one more on this side. Okay, and we'll do that all on the other side. Opposite knee plants, opposite foot plants, just untuck the back toe. Hands on either side of you to support. If you have books and wanna bring the floor up a little closer, you can have your hands on books as well. Let's lunge forward, feel that stretch in your hip flexors and in your quads, and then hips go back. Again, toes face up. Chest is proud as you lean forward. Make sure that knee stays in line with your middle toes. And use that exhale every time we sink deeper into that stretch. Let's get one more here. And 
we'll take you to our thoracic rotations on the other side. Plant the hand inside the foot. That arm is gonna weave underneath to deepen that rotation as we open up and we twist. Good, so you feel that stretch in your T-spine both ways that you twist and you feel an opening in your chest every time we fly that arm open. Let's take two more here. Great, last one. All right, meet me seated. Now we're getting to our hips and in our glutes. We're gonna take it to a 90-90 hip opener. So the way to set up for it, you'll start seated with your knees bent. Your heels are just wider than shoulder width distance. You can have your hands behind you to support you. We'll knock both knees over to one side, and this is where it gets its name. Knee at 90 degrees, knee at 90 degrees. Then from here, I'm gonna fold over my shin. My hands can support me. You'll feel that stretch in the glute and in the hip. And then once you feel that stretch, hands behind you, knock the knees over to the other side. Same idea. Try to stay in between the knee and the ankle joints. That way you feel that stretch where it's supposed to be, in the glutes, in the hips. Good. Let's go ahead and once we do this one, we'll get one more on each side. Use your hands behind you to support you. I know this one can feel quite tough, quite a lot on the hips. Take that one more, especially if you've been sitting all day. This one's a juicy one for you. All right, and then we'll end on our back. So let the legs extend, just roll yourself down with control. We'll take some knee hugs to finish. So hug your knee into your chest without crunching your chest up. Take knee up, pause, find that end range, and then go ahead and extend the leg and then just switch. So hug the knee in, feel that extension of the opposite hip. Good. Let's take a few more like that. Good, and that opposite leg can just rest to the floor. We'll take one more on each side. Last one. And then just go ahead and give it yourself a hug with both knees. Maybe rocking side to side, feeling a little bit of release in your lower back after releasing in your glutes. And then we'll extend the legs long, bring the arms up overhead, big reach like you're just waking up, even though I know it's the end of the day. Inhale here, exhale, we sit up, lead the arms, reach for your toes, feel that release in your back, and then just roll it all the way up. All right, awesome work. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit more lengthened, more mobile, and like you've released a little bit from your day. And my name's Kat, this was Good Stretch with Well and Good. If you want more videos like this, you can subscribe below.